There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Yeah, well, there's no confusion here. Businessmen, they drink my wine. I know who the globalists are. I know what their history is. I know their complete operations. And 99.9% .9 of you, I mean generals in the military, I mean owners of large computer companies, auto mechanics, school teachers, black people, Hispanic, white, doesn't matter. All of us are under the gun by the eugenicist. This is the eugenics wars. This is the propaganda wars. This is about dominating and controlling the future and who goes into the future and re-engineering society into a highly controlled system run by a bunch of control freaks. They've written hundreds of books, thousands and thousands of quotes, UN documents, I list them all in Endgame and in films like Road to Tyranny, like books, Descent into Tyranny. And I'm just begging you, ladies and gentlemen, to listen to me and listen carefully. Your calls are coming up, but I need to finish up with this first. So, ABC News says, secret meeting of the rich in New York City for population reduction. They've given 80 plus billion dollars since 96 to population reduction. They gathered in the home of Sir Paul Nurse, a British Nobel Prize biochemist, and president of the private Rockefeller University in Manhattan. On May 5th, the informal afternoon session was so discreet that some of the billionaire's aides were told they were in security briefings. Some details were emerging this weekend, however. The billionaires were each given 15 minutes to present their favorite cause over dinner. They discussed how they might settle on an umbrella cause that could harness their interest. And, again, they get to be tax-free if they do this. See, they're not really giving their money. They put all their money into tax-free foundations, their companies are now in tax-free, or their stock is, and then the interest on it goes to the philanthropic operations. So they don't pay taxes. And the, and the philanthropy is eugenics. The issues debated included reforming the supervision of overseas aid, spending, and making sure it goes to the proper things, to setting up rural schools and water systems in developing countries with the proper additives, of course. I've, I've read up on each one of these groups. Taking their cue from Gates, they agreed that overpopulation was a priority. This could result in a challenge to some third world politicians who benefit and believe contraception and female education weaken traditional values. And what it means is IMF World Bank funds under State Department Memorandum 200 are already, they have to get their women to be sterilized. They've sterilized half their women to get IMF and World Bank funds. And so then Peru and India, they run around and China and grab them and sterilize. If they catch you having more than one baby in China, they kill it. They use them for medical experiments. But it's for the greater good. It's tough to say it. You know, even um, the big Baptist Christian has come out, uh, you know, the head of the 700 Club, remember a few years ago, and said, Pat Robertson, we've got to have, you know, tougher Planned Parenthood in China. I know forced abortion and things sound bad, but they're doing what they have to do. And I had Christians email me and say, well, abortion for over there is of the Lord. Gates, 53, who is giving away most of his fortune, argued that healthier families freed from malaria, or really banning DDT causes 40 million a year to die of that. Gates, 53, who was giving away most of his fortune, agreed that healthier families freed from malaria and extreme poverty would change their habits and fewer children within half a generation. But I actually have the State Department memorandum, and I actually have the Royal Commission on Population, 44 to 59. That's the blueprint for all of this. And they actually state in there that they wanted the, the, an, an overpopulation to tie down and make third world countries collapse, and that then later they would mop up at the end of the century. And now we're the end of the century and past it with eugenics. And that they're having genetic engineering, uh, which they don't care if it hurts the planet as long as they control it. Look, all the real environmental degradation is being caused by them, the chem trailing all of it. At a conference in Long Beach, California last February, he had made similar points. Official projections say the world's population will peak at 9.3 billion, up from 6.6 .6 billion today. But with charitable initiatives such as better reproductive health care, we think we can cap that at 8.3 billion, Gates then said. And then it goes on with a big whitewash. Why all the secrecy? They wanted to speak rich to rich, without worrying anything that they said would end up in the newspapers, painting them as alternative world government, as an alternative world government, he said. 
And funny, they were meeting when Bilderberg was meeting, not this weekend, but last weekend. They just went ahead and broke this on Wednesday and then again today in the Times of London. So there you have it. I broke this down. I listed these names. I listed the Rockefeller Foundation. And when I get up here, folks, you think I just get up on the radio on 80-something stations during the week, 30-something on the Sunday show, and just say that Bill Gates' daddy previously headed up Planned Parenthood, which gave awards to Hitler, got awards from Hitler, and called black people weeds that must be exterminated? That's Margaret Sanger, and he's still on their board. That I mean, I've got him on Bill Moyers. I've got Bill Gates Jr., Bill Gates the third or whatever, you know, the, 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 the rich one. You know, his daddy was in military intelligence and all this, and it's the same with IBM. And by the way, Endgame came out two years ago, and then a year later, the scientist Watson, the Nobel Prize winner who discovered DNA, double helix, the head of the IBM Human Genome Project, Cold Springs Harbor. Do you know Cold Springs Harbor is the birthplace of U.S. eugenics and where Hitler got all his ideas? Did you know that it was the formerly the eugenics records office? Did you know that billions of dollars in 1950 money were given to it by Thomas Watson? No relation to Watson that headed it up? And that Watson then had to step down last year for saying blacks aren't humans? Blacks aren't homo sapiens sapiens? Remember that? That Google that for me. Head of uh, Human Genome Project steps down, Thomas. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Mr. Watson, Thomas Watson's the, the, the other one, the, the, forget his first name, Nobel Prize winner for the double helix. The point is, and, and by the way, even if you're a racist out there and you don't believe blacks are human, even if you, uh, you know, the white supremacists that love Hitler and death threaten me all day, listen, fools, when you read the eugenicist documents at the highest levels that I cover in Endgame, it isn't positive and, ne and negative eugenics as you were taught. Positive breeding for the super race on one end, more intelligence, less illness, longer life. Negative eugenics, sterilizing or exterminating the subhumans. When you go to the true level of eugenics, it is a dominant system, and they're number one threatened by dominant minds. And they believe northern Europeans are the best. Then they believe Jews come next and then Japanese. And the Japanese believe this. The Japanese elite all finance this. You know, uh, Emperor Hirohito and all that. And it still goes on. They are, they go to the meetings. They believe it. They believe it. And so at these meetings, you got Japanese, you got, you got basically royal white supremacists, and you've even got Jewish leaders there. And they are there with this whole thing on record saying, we've got to dumb down uh, the the innate talent that's in the middle class and predominantly in Northern Europeans, we've got to poison them and dumb them down and test them and find out who's smart and put the boys on Ritalin to brain damage them. And we're doing this to be guarantee that only our genetics go into the future of the elite and then once their world government control grid is in place, they say they're going to exterminate the majority of the population. And they're already testing soft kill weapons. And this is the big thing. You know, this is the thing that you'll never hear about. You'll never hear the white supremacists talk about it. You'll never hear the ADL talk about it. You'll never hear anybody talk about this. This is everything. And I'm not that special. I'm not that smart. Why did I discover all of this? Sure, people knew about the globalists want population reduction and eugenics. And people know they want to reduce the world population. But I have discovered from simple research that who the groups are, what they're doing, and how they're operating. And I can't believe how many blacks they've got working with them. Now, I'm not saying Oprah Winfrey is part of this. This is just a kind of a management meeting to suck her in, I guarantee you, because she's the biggest person in entertainment and worth tens of billions of dollars. But she is a globalist, got this new globalist church, so she doesn't have to pay taxes. That's what that's about, based in Africa with all these weird sex scandals. She wants world government. And, 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 and they got a bunch of other black leaders at the UN out pushing eugenics and saying it's for the betterment of Africa. But, but just like Margaret Sanger in letters that were released by the Colgate Foundation, I didn't just believe these online. I sent off to the university to get them saying we, we got to recruit black leaders like W. Uh, du Bois and, and, and others to go out and recruit the blacks because they won't trust whites. So, and let me tell you, that's what Obama is. He comes right out of the uh, eugenics operation. He doubled the eugenics funding, U.S. funding, 
the forced abortion funding in China and Africa. He did it all. He even supports bills to let people kill babies for a couple days after they're born. And by the way, Alan Keyes has heroically fought him against that. That's why he was really at Notre Dame when he got arrested. And was still in jail last time I checked for like a week and a half. Anyways, the issue here is this is the biggest story. This is everything. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. They're trying to destroy the family. They're trying to destroy the cultures of blacks, whites, Hispanics, everybody. They want world government. They want it now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's really all about. You have just heard the master plan, the basics of it. When we come back, I'll take calls. Then I'm going to get into the control grid, how they're going to tie us down to do this. The cashless society enslavement system. Get the film in game, folks, at InfoWars.com.